Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments with me merging timelines. Today, I am going to do a very general reading for Pisces, of course. Hey, y'all, hey. I love Pisces. If you don't know, now you know. I am going to read for my sun and moon placement. So if you have a sun or moon in Pisces, these messages are to offer you truth and clarity. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you could please take this time to like the channel or subscribe to my channel, or maybe after the video, if that changes things, I would greatly appreciate your support. More than I can express, of course. I am in some sort of giddy mood today. I don't know why, but maybe it's because I just dived in Pisces energy. And how else do you feel when you're in Pisces energy? I love to do y'all. I really do. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see here. No comment. Um, Pisces. Let's see what's in your energy. Pisces. 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 Sun and moon viewers, those who will visit my channel and allow me to be a clear and open channel for them. What do they need to hear the most at this time? All right, so Pisces, we're cutting your deck. We're about to get to it. <clears throat> Claire's throat. Wow. Finances are booming, right? You got a new grounded offer, you know, and you're all in at work. I feel that you have um, maybe a raise. Something was presented, something. You took, you took a step up at work or maybe got a new house or something you know you're grounded and boy have you really taken time to just look outside of yourself and really reflect on all the things that you were able to do at this time very nice Pisces so three of cups is in your environment you celebrated something recently in your recent past distant past you name it it's whatever um, people see you celebrating in your past. They see you happy coming together with others and really just being grateful for the things that you have, okay? In your heart placement, though, this is interesting. You could be dealing with a Leo if you're a male, but if you are the female, I mean, if you are the male and this is you, you're really, um, how can I say it, your heart if I was to say you in the upright, this person's extremely passionate, in your heart you've lost passion, which is weird because you've celebrated something recently, but at the same time you're not passionate, you don't feel it inside, it's just very physical. Like, you know what I mean? Like when people have balloons and flowers, and if they don't really feel it, it doesn't really matter what they can hold, you know, because those things don't give you the feeling. The feeling already comes from within, you know? So I feel like my Pisces, of all people right now, which is like, you guys are the most compassionate people. Chani, stop. No, baby. You guys are the most compassionate people, but in this reading here, I feel as though there's a specific group of Pisces that I'm reading for that has really just closed off their heart and passion. I mean, and like they're not passionate about what they're invested in yet they're still celebrating it. Okay. You got the queen of pentacles in the reverse. So I have a soulmate here, you know, on the board. <laughs> I won't go too far as to say that, um, okay, so I have a Leo and a Capricorn. Put it out there. Leo and Capricorn. Um, and if this is not what you're dealing with, this could, bear in mind, just be the energies that you're dealing with. So I don't like to really call out signs. I'll read into the card. The Queen of Pentacles representing your influences is the fact that you don't feel very grounded. You don't feel really rooted where you are. Yes, you have the physicals, maybe. Um, and I wouldn't even say the physical. I'm not even going to go there. I'd say you don't feel very grounded in what you're invested in right now. It doesn't make you feel that way at least. Okay? Let's just put it that way. Wow. You have the... 
sun card. So this is beautiful. The best card in the deck to have. And who else for? So you have right underneath your sun, which represents the Leo. So you have two cards out here that represent Leo. You could be talking about Leo season or just the sign in itself, which represents that fixed passion that I was talking about. Seems as though you lost the feeling towards something you're celebrating, but yet everyone can see that it's bringing some sort of light or it's illuminating a lot of light energy within you, right? So as you, um, as you're dealing, and I feel like this could be someone dealing with a Capricorn female or just grounding themselves with someone that makes them very happy. You have the five of swords though. So as um, this is your future energy, this represents some sort of regret, some sort of disappointment. As you see the person here, it's just kind of scratching their head and, and thinking to themselves about something, you know, something that they personally feel within themselves. And so this is swords, it's all about your thoughts, and your thoughts are really thinking about what is it that I'm, I'm missing, you know? And I see you doing that in the future, and then it's going to be about something that you let go of, right? The four of pentacles represents something that you usually keep to yourself, you save it in your wallet, like a social security card, you take care of it, you, you know, you really keep an eye on this thing. So something that you let go of has everything to do with why you don't feel grounded at this moment. I am merging timelines, so I will go over the past, present, future simultaneously existing based off of your feeling. So we will go over the past. Past represents what you have experienced. And for this card, it's how people view you because this is your environment placement. They see you celebrating some emotional fulfillment, something that was emotionally fulfilling in the past. It was a birthday. It was um, a new home. It was something, you know. And then so um, that has you looking like this, you know, very shiny, very bright. You're getting a lot of attention, you know, that energy. And then here, as your feelings come into the matter, this is what people don't see because it's, it's in your heart placement. So again, another Leo energy here, but it's in the reversed. In the upright, I would say this person is extremely passionate. They know exactly what they want because that's the light energy of Leo. They are very impulsive when it comes to action. They don't ask questions. Just kind of do. Oh, yes, that is you, baby. And I need my cards, though. I'm going to go in just a minute, guys. Okay, so the Five of Swords underneath this one is talking about some regret. So as how I'm, I'm at a loss of words is how I'm going to really convey these two together. I'm going to do my best. So you have the loss of fixed passion here. And because you're not really sure about what you're passionate about, it's going to lead you in the future like this. You're really going to have to think about what it is that you chose against because it is your decision to honor the way you feel. And as a result of that, this is where we're headed. As our highest timeline representing the Queen of Pentacles, this is the influence. What's driving you moving forward is the loss of, um, what is this? In the upright, this Queen of Pentacles, she's a very hardworking person. She represents Capricorn energy. And she, let's see, this person would be very good at finances. They'd be really good at, um, let's see, hmm. I have some such a loss of word in this video. They're really good at... We call them Mother Nature, right? As you can see in the picture, there's things just growing. This way, there's nothing really growing. You know, I see you celebrating something, but nothing's growing. And the reason why it's not growing is because of your uncertainty with your passion. I feel like I'm reading for Gemini again because I just did their reading. And it's kind of very similar to this one, but you are mutable energy. And mutable energy, I always say that you guys 
have the tendency to flip and flop quicker than any other sign as as in cardinals or fixed signs because obviously a fixed sign has to make up their own mind in order to do so different things like me like an Aquarius Mel is very stubborn and if I don't think something for myself it's just not gonna happen um, whereas you guys are immutable water elements Pisces and what you guys have the ability to do is sorry guys what you guys have the ability to do is you have the ability to give your emotions as long as you're being fulfilled okay it's just how you impulsively act um, take it for what you will and then you have the four of pentacles as your advice card being the highest timeline here um, I would say reevaluate that thing that you let go of reevaluate that that thing that you hung up in the closet and walked away from that's all I would say that's the advice um, I hope this message offers you some sort of truth and clarity some guidance because that's what I do it for I love you guys so very much thank you very much for viewing my channel and I hope to see you back next time bye